My name is Gornia Hope and I'm the Artistic Director and General Manager of Kids Classics. We deliver a music programme in the children's hospitals in Dublin and around Ireland and we bring professional musicians off the concert stage and into the wards and corridors and beside bedside. Gornia originally uh, brought this programme or this idea to us in 2009 and we, we ran a pilot programme with, with Kids Classics at that point. And I suppose since then we've been working very closely with the team, both in terms of uh, uh, liaising with the hospitals, building the programme together, and also uh, in uh, sourcing funding from other, from other areas. It fits very clearly within our strategic planning for the education community and outreach programme. And one of the underlying goals, I suppose, behind the education programme is to bring music where it hasn't previously existed. We see it as very much a partnership, you know, uh, so we work very closely with, with Gronia and the rest of the Kids Classics team. It's so clearly uh, of such great benefit and such importance to the children's hospitals uh, that it, you know, it was something that we really wanted to focus in on. Often some of our musical interactions will start by some music just being placed on the corridor. And that is kind of like our open invitation and a head might come out of a room or someone pop up what's going on here and in the way that kind of opens up a conversation or an opportunity rather than us just going onto a ward and just starting music. When the Kids Classic programme was first proposed I thought uh, what a wonderful idea that would be. There's been huge benefits um, and it's hard to kind of quantify all of them but I suppose there's been the obvious benefits is when you know you see the children and the families joining in uh, when the musicians are up on the wards and you know they're taking part in it or even observing it. The hospitals are big busy places you've got doors banging you've got people talking phones ringing and in the middle of it all then you've got this gorgeous music and you can really hone into it and really focus on that. You can see the little ones dancing you can see the bigger the older children observing and it's lovely for the families who just maybe need half an hour's time out and the music's in the background and it does take away from what they're trying to deal with so it's it's hugely beneficial. Kids Classics was something that we had known about for a number of years throughout its pilot with the National Concert Hall and it's something we were very keen to see supported. We had a donor family come to us um, and in particular one of the children had spent a lot of time in hospital as a child. So it was something that was quite close to his heart and when he heard about Kids Classics he thought it was something that would be worthy of support. The donors have got so much out of Kids Classics. It's been an incredible experience for them. They've got to witness it firsthand and seeing the programme in operation in the schoolroom. I can't emphasise enough, there's, there's no other sources of funding for it at present. It's a programme that should be in place um, and should be available to every child, but the funding will not be there unless we have donors coming forward. Music in healthcare is a new growing area. In, both in the children's hospital where we work and also in general hospitals, my vision would probably be to see a, a music programme embedded in the very core of a hospital so that again the access is there should someone wish and sometimes whether it's to relax, to engage, for distraction, music can do that and I think all of us when we're in maybe in treatment or a difficult time why not have access to music. Bare necessities of life will come.